Welcome to the stage, your host and MC for the entire evening, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Kat Rizinski. Thank you, man. Thanks, guys. I just keep scratching my head, looking at you, wondering like how I got these headlights. <laughs> um, and other things, and other things. Hey, thanks for coming out tonight. I know you guys all had to brave 6th Street and stuff. That sucks. You guys remember when it used to be, oh, I'm going to go get fucked up on 6th Street, and that meant you were going to get drunk? <laughs> now, it's, now it's like, oh, no, literally, I'm going to go get my ass beat on 6th Street. <laughs> They're probably going to take my stuff. Um, if you ever come to 6th Street, though, little heads up, I'm, I'm a bit of an inventor. Uh, I invented this really cool method of dealing with homeless people. If you're a cigarette smoker, um, like I am, usually when they're about to open their mouths, I like to say, hey, do you have a cigarette, man? <laughs> <laughs> they're like, no, and then it's like, dickhead, and I just keep walking. <laughs> My mom taught me guilt. She's Catholic. Anyway, um, there's other things you can do, though. You could also, you could carry a Greyhound bus pass with you uh, and white out your name because it seems to me like every single homeless person here is just trying to get to Dallas. <laughs> what the hell's in Dallas, you guys? Um, heads up, first rule of Passive Aggressive Club is you wait until later before you talk about Passive Aggressive Club. <laughs> Uh, you guys know what really gets my goat? Coyotes, every time. <laughs> Put it on the chain, they ravage it. It's disgusting. I want to start a band called uh, That Rabbit Dog, just so people will walk around saying things like, That Rabbit Dog is off the chain, yo. <laughs> I think it would be funny. Uh, I don't have any mirrors in my house because I don't want to know <laughs> what's going on. Um, but as you can tell by my clothing, I shop at Ross Dress for Less. Anybody else? Yeah. yeah. Um, because I am a real woman, and like most real women, I have one big tit, one short leg, and I still wear Tommy Girl. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I don't. What size are you, Kat? I'm clearance. Squeeze me and let's do this. <laughs> My parents always say, uh, oh, Kate's drunk in the tree again. <laughs> drunk, drunk dialing and drunk texting. They forgot that before drunk dialing and drunk texting, it was drunk, I'm coming to your fucking house. <laughs> You can turn off your phone, but you can't get me out of that tree screaming bright eyes through your window at 3 a.m. It's not going to happen. I mean, bright eyes, you know. It's me, sad, lonely comedian. Hey, jokes! Um, so, so yeah, I, dr I drink. I drink a little. Who doesn't? Who, you guys drink? Yeah, you drink. On your way home tonight, you're probably going to have a moment where you're at a light, and uh, you're going to think the car behind you is a cop. <laughs> it's true. You're going to look in the mirror and you're going to freak the fuck out. Your butthole's going to pucker and you're going to be like, oh God, I'm about to get arrested or I'm going to cross. It's going to be horrible. You need to chill out. Got another invention for you. Just pop your head out the window yell, hey, are you a cop? Because they have to tell you if they are. <laughs> true. I've seen The Wire. I know. Thanks. On the subject of being hoisted, uh... I I recently got pulled over by a cop, and I actually wasn't drunk, but I did reek of whiskey for a reason, because I have this thing called the dumbass syndrome, where I just spill shit on myself. Uh, I trip, I fall, I, you know, subscribe to other people's Netflix. I do things. I do dumb things. I'm going to get caught one day. I don't know. But I was at a bar, and, and I was... Uh, trying to drink this whiskey and uh, I spilt it all over myself and it was really crazy because when I got in the car to drive home this cop who pulls me over says ma'am I'm not even going to bother with a breathalyzer I know you're drunk I can smell it everywhere to which I responded no idiot it's all over my shirt I haven't gone home and squeezed it into a cup yet 
fucking chill out. I'm trying to get to the Whataburger to get a husband. You're going to embarrass me. Like, they can all see. The cop blocker. <laughs> fucking stupid. I don't know why I said that. Um, I, I actually... I'm not going to say that my drinking contributed to it, but I had a boyfriend for a minute. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, yeah, for a minute. Uh, and it was really crazy. Let me tell you how we got together. I opened my eyes one morning, and he's just, like, on top of me, <laughs> like, just sweat dripping, my head smashing against the headboard. I'm looking up into his frosty blue eyes, like, who is this stranger, you know? And, and he's just sweating, boom, boom, boom. And all I can think in my head is, he fucking chose me, you guys! <laughs> like, he could have had anyone at the bar. But he picked me. And when we broke up, it was so sad. I take guys, uh, I, I tend to choose mates who take charge. Uh, so yeah, he dumped me, is what I'm trying to say, um, on Facebook. And when he did it, he just took us out of the relationship. And I'm batshit crazy, so I just click like and let him know this shit's not going down without a fight, sir. <laughs> no, no, absolutely not. I stalked his family. <laughs> I, I, I poked friends he didn't like anymore, so we should hang out. Like, let's message them. I, I broke, I hacked his sh Anyway, uh, true story. But the whole time I was with him, it was weird. I felt like that kitten in the hang in there poster. Like, just don't dump me. Uh, so it was a lot of stress. And then when he finally did, it was really bizarre because it was like this big weight was lifted off my shoulders. Also, I should mention that he didn't have legs, so I had to carry him around everywhere. Just dropped him. Uh, 